There was an uproar in the Dewan Rakyat today after Kota Melaka MP Ku Poi Tiong raised the case of Muhyiddin's son-in-law. Muhyiddin was debating the Supply Bill 2024 when Ku interrupted him to ask the former Prime Minister about the government's decision to sign a 10-year deal with Padiburas Nasional Berhad. Ku also brought up the case of his son-in-law Muhammad Adlan Berhan who is wanted by the MACC. Bukanlah itu sesuatu keputusan yang membebankan rakyat sehingga hari ini kita menghadapi masalah beras itu keranalah pagu apabila menjadi perdana menteri pergi tanda tangan 10 tahun dengan benas biar mereka monopoli dan hari ini kita terikat dengan perjanjian tersebut dan pagu tadi ada kata tentang kita mesti apa nama pagu ragu tentang subsidi yang kita dapat jima itu dapat sampai kepada rakyat Kenapa Pago rasa ragu? Adakah sewaktu Pago jadi Perdana Menteri itu, Pago tidak laku secara hemah? Sehingga anak menantu pergi cabut ke luar negara sekarang pun tak boleh balik, balik lagi. The uproar escalated when Penang MP Awang Salahuddin Hashim told Ku not to follow the Zionist attitude. Although he was asked several times by Dewan Rakyat Deputy Speaker Alice Lau to retract his statement, Ku refused which eventually led to Lau ordering for him to leave the hall and re-enter after the break. Awang then retracted the word Zionist while also warning that no one should be allowed to interfere. The session restarted with Muhyiddin being allowed to make his closing speech.